What? What happened, little kitty? <laughs> That's just Granny Binox sleepwalking. Well, let me share that by answering an eye-opening question. Why do we sleepwalk? Zoom in! Sleepwalking, also known as somnambulism, is a type of sleep disorder that causes you to do complex things while you're still asleep. You might get out of bed, walk around or even do something risky like try to leave the house or ride your bicycle. But not all sleepwalkers actually walk. Some merely sit up or stand in bed or act like they are dazedly awake when in fact they are asleep. But one common sign you'll notice is that sleepwalkers' eyes are generally open. However, it's vital to know that they don't see the same way they do when they are awake and have no awareness of their surroundings. They'll often believe they are in different rooms of the house or different places altogether. Such episodes can last anywhere from a few seconds to up to half an hour although most episodes last around 10 minutes. Once the episode is over, the person usually returns to bed on their own and wakes up in the morning without having any memory of what happened last night. But the vital question is, why do we sleepwalk? Well, scientists still aren't exactly sure about it. But what they do know is it's more common in kids and occurs because your brain gets a bit confused during the sleep cycle. Yes, the sleep cycle is made up of four different stages. The first three stages are known as non-rapid eye movement (NREM) sleep, consisting of stage 1 where you transition from wakefulness to sleep. Stage 2 is when you enter light sleep and by stage 3 you are in a deep sleep where your brain waves are slowest. And after this, you finally enter the fourth stage called REM sleep or rapid eye movement where you start to dream dreamy dreams. So, to keep you from reacting physically toward the dream, your muscles become temporarily paralyzed and you can't move your body until you wake up feeling fresh and recharged to take on the world. But what happens during a sleepwalking episode is that instead of jumping from the non-REM stage to the REM stage, the brain at time skips the REM stage and directly wakes up to the stage of being awake. This confuses our brain and body as it gets stuck between deep sleep mode and wakefulness, thus causing us to sleepwalk. What exactly triggers the brain to make this jump is still giving sleepless nights to the scientific community. But as it's more common in children, some scientists believe it's due to their underdeveloped brains. So once they grow older and their brains fully develop, this disorder goes away on its own. But when it comes to adults, factors such as stress, sleep apnea, sedative medications, etc. can lead to sleepwalking and it's better to speak to your doctor about it. Though there's no cure for sleepwalking, the doctor can talk to you about what's happening and try to find ways to help you sleep better by recommending certain lifestyle changes. And here is a thing, my friends. If you find someone sleepwalking, instead of waking them up, try to gently steer them back to their bed to have a good night's sleep. It's trivia time! Did you know around 40% of children have sleepwalked? 
Yes, and comparatively, only 4% of adults suffer from it. It's sketching time. Today's sketch of the day goes to 11-year-old Karul Raikwar. Hope you learned something important today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <sighs> Let me go back to my bed. Oh, never mind.